wine has been around for thousands of years. Being a Somali in training, you're, you're, you're smelling wine, you're, you're, you're tasting wine. They're, they're coming from different parts of the world. They're families and families that go back, especially if you're looking to France, thousands of years. So much history there, there's so much love there. And it just, it's constantly bringing people together. No matter where you are in the world, there's wine being drank and there's bread being broken. And that's beautiful. It's very reminiscent with the kingdom as well. And I, I would have never drawn the two together, but there are so many similarities. And at the end of the day, it's just all about that relationship and being with people. You know, I came from a world of, of commerce, and that was a career that, that really spanned six years in the banking and independent financial systems. Near the end of that, I just wasn't feeling at peace with my career. There wasn't a lot of rest. I was feeling the pressure, and I was sort of, I was having an identity crisis. You know, my identity was rooted in, in being this, this financial guy, but feeling that escape and realizing that's not who I was. As all this chaos was going on, I was finding who I was through the pages of the Bible. Um, and that really just began to change who I was. It, it changed my mindset, and eventually I accepted Jesus. I came home that night, I told my wife, I'm like, hey, you'll never guess what happened. Um, I, I accepted, you know, Jesus as Lord. And she's like, what does that mean? <laughs> um, which was really funny. But then over the next, you know, you know, two weeks, she just noticed a sense of peace with me. She's like, something is, something is going on with you. And, and I, I want in. And shortly after, we walked into the meeting house for one of the very first times. The first time we went to the, the meeting house in Brantford, we walked in and that morning I met a gentleman by the name of Jeff Doff. And he was just really funny, he was really witty, he was really sincere, and we had a very memorable conversation with him. After that, we went in, we sat in the theater, and then that day actually ended up being the day where um, we were launching home churches. I had never heard the word home church before, I didn't know what a home church was, and you know, we had every excuse in the world not to go. And we're like, let's just go try it. What do we have to lose? We went and um, we, we walked into this place, this beautiful home, and I've never had such deep conversation in, you know, in a mere hour. And just right away, it was just this, this really authentic atmosphere. And we drove away that night just, just being astonished, just being marveled at what happened. We're like, was that real? <laughs> Did that actually just happen? All of a sudden, we had people that deeply cared about us that we could be extremely vulnerable with. And those walls came crashing down and we became, I became very vulnerable with those people and was able to really work through some challenges and struggles that I was going through with my faith. We had so many questions. And as time unfolded, we were hit with some challenges. And that's where my relationship with Jeff really took off. I came to Jeff with some really, really challenging things, some really deep things that I, that I didn't know how to deal with. And he guided me through that, and he helped me through that, and he held me accountable to that. And on the opposite side, Jane was doing the same for, for Jess. Home church was the difference maker for me. I mean, we were kind of engaging with friends and having faith-based conversations with friends, but until we started with home church, before we had that consistency and we had that doing lifeness with the people that we go to home church with, um, there wasn't really any accountability. There wasn't really anyone that was ch checking in on us on a regular basis, and we found that at home church. One of the biggest things that Jess and I are challenged with now, and God's saying to us, simplify. And what does that actually mean? So for my wife and I, it's sitting down now and it's, it's looking at our finances and being like, okay, we're gonna make some changes here so we're able to give back to the meeting house, to the general fund. And hopefully, you know, years from now, you're sitting down with someone else and we're watching the same sort of story of someone's life unfolding because they took the chance and went to home church because someone walked up to them like a Jeff Doff on a Sunday morning. It's just so beautiful what can happen if you let God begin to work. And the meeting house has really uh, set up that foundation via home church and it's just, it is such a beautiful thing.